Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to work on doing some Valentine's Day crafts uh, for our dining table. And I just got out a variety of different things. I printed off some Valentine images from the Graphics Fairy. Um, I will put the link to her website down below. And I just have some different scrapbook paper, my ink pad, some, you know, just different crafts. And I have no idea which direction I'm going to go in, but... When I figure it out, I will definitely show you. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these down to size. Um, I'm gonna use my um, cutter. I actually got this at the Goodwill last year. I think I paid $5.99 for it, and it came in its original box. Um, so that's pretty handy. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just cut them down to size. And then um, from there, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to do this little guy first. And then that'll give me a good starting point on what I want to do. Oops, let's do it this way. That one. And then what I'll do is when I get them cut out, I will figure out what I want to do with it. Exactly. I think I'm just going to make little, um, like little Valentines to put on display in a little vignette of these. We'll see. I probably didn't want to do this exact, but that's okay. Maybe I'll cut out a heart shape. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging it. I didn't want to sit here and try to overthink it while I came up with a game plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this finish cut out and then I'm going to trace out a heart on this paper here and then get that on there and then see what I want to do from there. Okay, so what I did was I cut out the image and then I just kind of loosely traced it bigger around it um you can't see it very well so what i'm going to do is that way it sits on here like that and then i'll figure out what i'm going to do with it after that so i went and got some uh, just some pink florals out of my stash and i'm going to kind of fill in the tops here a little bit and this is just going to be a little filler or I have a little card holder. I'm going to um, put them in. But I think, and I don't have any right now, but I don't have any. This isn't thick enough. Well, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and put it on there and see where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this on. I did plug in my hot glue gun. And... Um, I'm doing it at the dining room table because I'm getting ready to redo my office craft room area and build me a new table instead of trying to use a desk and I'm going to put, uh, I just acquired a new older sewing machine and so I'm going to make sure everything is usable on there so I'm just Gluing this on here. Yeah. It's turning out cute. And then I'll get these. I don't know if I want the lighter ones or the darker ones. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
I'm just waiting for my glue gun to heat up and I'll get those on there. In the meantime, I'll see what I'm going to do with this right here. So this is Valentine's greetings. I know it's reversed on there, but so I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this one. Okay, I went ahead and just got those two little florals hot glued on there. I know the lighting's not the best. I'm working on I'm working on that, so one step at a time, but I'm going to go ahead and work on a few more of these things. Um, I'll show you little progress shots as I go, and then I will show you when I get the uh, table all styled. So I decided um, I... I'm going to use, go ahead and use these cardboard pieces because it's a little bit more sturdy. So I'm just tracing that on there. Let me get it cut out. And then I will get that Mod Podge on there. That way I can use it and it's a more sturdy of a surface. going to go ahead and mod podge that on there and I'm these were um I had a photo frame that broke and I went ahead and saved all the cardboard pieces and the glass pieces and oh you know what I might do that instead is I might put this on no I'll just keep it on cardboard but uh anyways they're just in my little miscellaneous craft drawer but yeah, so I'm going to get that on there and then I'll get that on there we'll go so it's kind of a oh the lighting is horrible i'm so sorry but it's kind of a, a sagey blue okay and then for this i know that's not symmetrical oh my gosh i might end up cutting it and making it symmetrical but this is just a cardboard um part and then what I'm going to do is just take a bunch of yarn and just start wrapping it around it. And I might do this several times um, to use that as a bowl filler, filler also. Okay, scratch that. I ended up finding a heart-shaped cookie cutter. So I'm going to use that as my pattern. So that pattern didn't have um, a big enough divot, so I just went ahead and created one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, hot glue this on here to start, and that way it won't. So I'll just show you real quick. So I'm just going to lay it on there to start. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it. And do this until it's all done. So what I'm doing, I wasn't going to bore you, is that I'm just doing it until all of the cardboard is hidden. And I'm trying to keep it flat so it doesn't bend the cardboard. So, and I had to make sure to include that little point. So I'm just going all the way around it. And I think these would be cool. Um, I don't know if anybody does drawer sachets anymore. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not dating myself. I'm really not that old, but compared to some I might be. But um, <laughs> is if you did these with a cotton yarn, um, which I have, I just don't want to waste it on this. So I'm using acrylic yarn is um when you're all done to maybe you know do some like essential oils or uh, not perfume but an essential oil or something um and then keep those in your drawer be, be kind of cool and you have to excuse my little dog is down below me i've been home for a while and i've been gone all day and she is <laughs> not liking that i'm not giving her any attention so i I think I've just about, I think I have a few more gaps, but yeah, kind of cool. And Dollar Tree carries yarn now, so you could probably just, I mean, everyone has scrap cardboard because we all get deliveries, 
but and then just get some Dollar Tree yarn this was I don't even know what brand it is anymore but and then you could maybe end it on a cute design you know like X for you know like hugs and kisses type thing I don't know but yeah and then kind of lay it flat and glue it in the back Oops. just kind of glue it down there where's my little there we go there we go yeah see and then you can just um, make a bunch of those and put them in a cute little bolt or you could also, oh, that'd be a good idea, instead of sachet for your drawer, is do them as a sachet for your table. So get a, you know, like a vanilla scent or whatever scent you want, and then that way they're, and then you all you have to do is rub them and kind of release the scent, and that'd be a neat little thing, so hang tight for that. Okay, I'm going to do one more, only because I do have quite a few um, cloth hearts there, the gray and white, oh, buffalo, buffalo check, I already have a bunch of these, these were from Hobby Lobby, oh, two or three years ago, um, so I'll just stick these when I get them done, and I'll put them in there with it, so, like I said, I end up just kind of creating a spot to where I can um, wind the yarn through without it being a flat surface and kind of even that out a little bit. There we go. Kind of boring, but maybe kind of fun for somebody who has this stuff laying around and they don't realize it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up really quick. I think I'm losing battery on my phone and it's getting super dark and the lighting is horrible. So, um, hopefully this video will turn out in the correct format. So we shall see. <laughs>